Michael L. Sampson is a visual artist, arts manager, and founder director of the Land of Funk Museum and Hall of Fame. Sampson was the curator and project director of the 1998 exhibition, Something in the Water, The Sweet Flavor of Dayton Street Funk, while on staff at the National Afro-American Afro Museum and Cultural Center in Wilberforce, Ohio. He is married to Carol Sampson and has three daughters and eight grandchildren. Busy man. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening. Who likes funk? <laughs> okay, uh, the Land of Funk Museum and Hall of Fame is a not-for-profit organization and was established to conduct research, collect materials and artifacts, and present exhibitions, seminars, and workshops that educate the public about the depth, diversity, and popularity of the funk experience. Funk. Funk is an aesthetic of uninhibited soulful behavior characterized by a faith and instinct, the confidence in self, and a joy in life that's unassimilated, dynamic, irrepressible, and creative. It has become the soundtrack of advertising, sports, and popular culture. Wright Dunbar, Inc. invited me to present a sneak preview of the museum concept to the community during an Urban Nights event a few years ago. This slide shows a performance of featuring the late, great Sugarfoot Bonner of the Ohio Players doing a memorable stage appearance. Our most recent effort was unfortunately derailed, but here's an elevation of the site as originally depicted by designer Daniel Havlicek. I hope she might be in here tonight. I include this slide for the purpose of offering you a visual concept of what the museum will generally look like. This location is in the uh, Wright Dunbar Business District in West Dayton. Another elevation shows how the main gallery space was designed with exhibit areas for the bands, artist display cases, mannequins, and stage for live performances. At the time Wright Dunbar's board halted the project, most of the build out had been completed. During the 1970s and 80s, hit records by a significant number of R&B and funk bands calling Dayton, Ohio home profoundly impacted the world of popular music. Across the globe, Dayton became known as the land of funk. The following artists are the reason why. Please allow me to introduce the Ohio Players. A phenomenal group that inspired those who followed in their footsteps with platinum albums like Skin Tight, Fire and Honey, along with gold albums, Pain and Contradiction, the group rocked the house all over the world. Zap featuring Roger was a band that yeah. dared listeners to even try not to dance with hits like I Can Make You Dance, More Bounce to the Ounce, Heartbreaker, and Do It Roger. This funk supergroup's music was a staple on dance floors from Philly to Paris. Lakeside had a legacy in which locals may have known some band members as the Monterey's or the Young Underground. When they released Fantastic Voyage, however, everyone knew, knew them as the band that could rock a funky dance beat or croon a soulful ballad, as in Real Love or the Beatles' I Wanna Hold Your Hand. Heat Wave. Heat Wave was formed in Europe by Dayton native, the late Johnny Wilder Jr. after a stint in the Army. The group had already garnered a, a huge following across the water before returning home and conquering the states with major hits like Boogie Nights, The Groove Line, and Always and Forever. Slave came together in Dayton in the late 70s and took the country by storm with their big hit Slide. Other hits followed, such as Just a Touch of Love, Watching You, and Snapshot. With one of the funkiest bassists in the business and a rhythm section to make James Brown blush, Slave was an awesome band. Slave's drummer left the, and formed his own band, Steve Arrington's Hall of Fame in the early 80s. His Hall of Fame came out out of the gate with what are now funk classics, Weak at the Knees, Way Out, and Nobody Can Be You. Steve Arrington's Hall of Fame made the music world take notice. The name of the band Dayton demonstrates just how popular groups from the Gym City had become. Their hit Cutie Pie and a cover of Sly Stone's Hot Fun in the Summertime brought the band much deserved attention. They also recorded The Sound of Music, which was popular in the US and Europe. 
There's a story that on a tour stop in Japan, members of Sun were met at the airport by fans chanting lyrics of their music. With hits, Wanna Make Love, Come Flick My Bick, and Sun Is Here, the band cultivated fans far and wide. Sun's dramatic futuristic album covers evoked cosmic imagery in the era of Star Wars. Fazo combined hard driving funk with rock to great effect. Their hits Riding High and Good Thing are high on the playlist of DJs across the nation who've dedicated, who have dedicated funk audiences. Their music has been frequently sampled by a new generation of musicians hungry for that old school Dayton funk. Platypus has been a Dayton-based band that defy efforts to easily categorize them. Their sound is a fusion of genres with funk on top. Their major effort, Dancing in the Moodlight, reveals a layer of the band's multifaceted musicianship. Platypus has worked with Michael Jackson, Roberta Flack, and The Fifth Dimension, among many others. New Horizons was a group produced and inspired by the Troutman organization, but boasting a sound all their own. The Thomas Brothers and Tim Abrams efforts Your Thing and Searching for That Lady are perfect examples of the powerful and funky New Horizons sound. Shadow was formed by members of the Ohio Players during a breakup or reshuffling of that band. In the late 70s and early 80s, they released three albums and a number of singles, including the memorable Born to Hustle, and Party in the Streets from Shadows in the Street album released in 1981. Shirley Murdoch was a backup singer with Roger Troutman and Zapp, who blossomed into the limelight with her own dynamic sound. After signing with Electra Records in the mid 80s, she had a huge hit with As We Lay. Shirley had follow up hits with Go On Without You and Be Free, and she's also a renowned gospel artist. Time doesn't permit me to share the real world impact of these acts which have been sampled by hip hop, movies, television, and pop culture. Contact me at mlsampson64 at gmail.com for more. The museum and ancillary projects moves onward and upwards, and I look forward to seeing you one day in the land of funk.